in my fence loop video, that was the last one you saw, I was just feeding the loop with this antenna coupler, an L match. It's unbalanced. As you might also remember, the antenna picked up a lot of noise on receive. There was a comment that that may be related. If you're feeding a balanced antenna with an unbalanced thing like this antenna coupler, or even just 50 ohm coax cable, which is unbalanced feed line, then you're going to have more problems in relation to noise pickup compared to if you used a balanced feed, like open wire line or a ballon. That's what I'm going to test today. I've got this L-match antenna coupler, which I'll use, but I'll then also try this 4 to 1 ballon. Today I'll try a loop with a perimeter of 20 meters. That will make it a full wavelength on 14 megahertz. I'll feed it either with this antenna coupler, which is an L match and is unbalanced, which is the one that I was trying before, or with this 4 to 1 ballon, which provides a balanced feed line from the unbalanced coax. In a moment, you'll see how they compare as far as reception. The 4 to 1 ballon should be okay because a folded dipole has an impedance of around 2 or 300 ohm. First of all though, got to put up the antenna. Here's the erected antenna. Sort of a mix between a folded dipole and a loop. An opened up folded dipole or a squashed loop. The impedance will definitely not be 50 ohm. And if you have a look, there is a dip above 14 megahertz, but it's a very shallow one. Now connecting the 4 to 1 ballon. And it's a very different look. A very sharp curve, 1 to 1 VSWR, a bit high, 14.588, but for receiving purposes, that shouldn't make much difference compared to if it was somewhat lower in frequency. Bellin is still connected. There's a lot of noise, but signals are audible. Now I'll just go up to 14.6 and see what it says on the S meter. Does the signal strength go up or not of the noise? And not really, it's staying on S8. 14.6 should also make it quite a good antenna for the 19 meter broadcast band. So, let's see if we can get WWV. And WWV is audible. I've got the L-match connected and I'll just tune around and it's still S8.
to conclude, I'm not finding a lot of difference. Even if you've got a loop, which some people say is a low noise antenna for receiving, even if you're feeding it with a ballon, which people say is desirable for balance to unbalanced. If it's in a poor location, such as not very high up off the ground and amongst lots of noise, then it will still be a very poor receiving antenna. To conclude, the location of the antenna is probably about the single biggest thing you can do to get better reception. Whether it's a loop or dipole, or whether you're using a ballon or not, may make some difference, but it's not so important. As they say in real estate, location is everything. However, if something like this is all you can set up, I still suggest giving it a go, because there are likely to be amateurs in good locations with low noise levels that will hear your signal. And provided they've got superior transmitting antennas, then you may still be able to hear them through all your local noise and get contacts. Just on FT8 and I've answered a call from ZL4KYH and just had a contact. Um, I gave them minus 14 dB, they gave me minus 21. So that's a distance of around two and a half to 3,000 kilometers. And I'm running five watts here on FT8. I've been calling various stations. I got that ZL before, but not too many others, including those within VK. For more on antennas, particularly portable antennas, check out my books, hand-carried QRP antennas and more hand-carried QRP antennas. You can get them either as an e-book or in paperback. More details on my website, vk3ye.com, or you can search their titles on Amazon.